What's up everybody and welcome to Northeast Preparedness. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at my work get home bag, so stay tuned. Before we get into the contents of the bag, I just wanna give a quick shout out to Anthony Parkinson who won our Amazon gift card giveaway. And also, thank you to everyone that entered the contest. This pack contains the essential items that I would need along with my normal everyday carry if I ever had to ditch my truck and make it home from work on foot. It's based on the types of areas that are between my work and my home which are mainly small wooded areas and small isolated towns. I don't feel that it should ever take me more than 24 hours to get home on foot, but this pack should support me for up to 48 hours. So, let's take a look at the pack and its contents. So let's start off with what I always have on my person. First and foremost, I have my CRKT squid, my Boulder P2 rechargeable flashlight, and my Gerber suspension multi-tool. In my jacket pocket, I always carry my micro EDC kit, and a small power bank. Now the bag itself is a G for free EDC tactical sling bag. I picked it up on Amazon for about $27. I won't get into the specs of the bag, but if you want me to do a full review on it, let me know in the comments. So let's start with the small outside pockets. So this first pocket is my fire making pocket. I have some UCO stormproof matches. Bic lighter, regular matches, and a fire steel. And then this tin has duct tape, Vaseline uh, cotton balls, birthday candles, wet fire, and a small pencil sharpener for making tinder. The other outside pocket is my first aid pocket. I have an ace band-aid. Some medical tape. Chapstick. And this just has some basic medications, some band-aids, some gauze pads. Some emergency. And probably the most important thing if you're going to be walking long distances, some moleskin. If you get blisters, they can slow you down. This stuff is a lifesaver. Small front pocket. Have a compass. Some hand warmers. And a rain poncho. An emergency mylar blanket. Right in the rain pad. And a Silcock key. The upper front pocket. A Smith's knife sharpener. Roll of one inch Gorilla Tape. Some Kevlar cord. small sewing kit, some extra AAA batteries that actually go with this, it's just a cheap Railvac headlamp, on this flap I do have some hand sanitizer, inside have a little bit more duct tape and some safety pins. A whistle. A signaling mirror. A 
small charge cable. And that's it for that pocket. And we'll go to the back. What's the uh, concealed carry pouch? I have a map of my county and a map of New York State. And then into the main compartment, have a pair of gloves, my more uh, basic 511. Some granola bars. And in this bag I have one of SOL's emergency blankets. Some dude wipes. Cotton bandana. couple of 30 gallon trash bags and some extra socks. I always like to keep extra socks with me because I hate having wet feet. And I also have a neck gaiter. Then I have my Anchor 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. It's solar charged. and my 27 ounce clean canteen inside this have a hat glow stick Sawyer Mini some aqua tabs and some chicken broth. As you can see, this kit pretty much covers everything I need. I've got clothing and comfort. I've got a container. I've got water procurement. I've got cordage and tools. I've got signaling, light, first aid, fire, navigation, cutting, food, cover, uh, stuff to keep my electronics going, hygiene, and even something to write on. What you carry might be different than what I have here based on your needs, but this is what would get me by for 24 to 48 hours if I was walking home. With that said, what's in your get home bag? What do you carry? Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave it a like. If you didn't, feel free to leave it a dislike. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.